Hello everyone, I'm Arnie Stiles with Ultratech Special Effects. Today I'm going to show you and explain the new digital interface located on the back of our world-renowned Radiance Hazer. Activate the power switch located on the back panel. When the switch is turned on, it will illuminate when the power is present. The heat up time is approximately 7 minutes before haze can be produced. The flashing green LED on the back of the radiance indicates it is heating up. When it is fully heated, the green LED turns solid. There are three modes of operation. One mode is standalone operation. To place the radiance in standalone mode, place the DMX setting at 600 located on the back panel and the display will stay illuminated indicating this mode is selected. The 10s control the output of the haze and the 1s control the internal and external fan output. The variable haze output and fan speed runs from low to high starting from 1 being low through to 9 being high. Another mode is DMX. To use the DMX mode, the display is on the back panel of the machine and will momentarily show the code revision levels in the machine and then display the DMX setting for several seconds. The display will blank out after a short period of time. By touching any of the selecting arrow keys will relight the display. Select the desired DMX address for the Radiance Hazer. However, please note the Hazer occupies two sequential addresses. The selected address is the haze rate and the selected address plus one is the fan speed. Control is from zero to 100% with zero turning the output off. Insert the DMX line into DMX in connector located at the back of the machine. The fan has a minimum setting and should always run when the power is applied. The fan only has variable output once the machine starts producing haze. The valid DMX light will be solid red when the DMX signal is present. A three flash pattern indicates an over temperature error. The third mode of operation is using the remote with timer. Plug the hand remote cable into the back connector marked remote. Then turn the main power switch on and it will illuminate if power is present. The hand remote indicates the heating cycle. Slow flashing red LED indicates the unit is not ready to operate and is still in heating mode. A solid red LED indicates the radiance is ready to operate at full output producing haze. A pattern of three flashes indicate an over temperature error. The green LED located on the back panel indicates the same status. When ready to haze, turn the haze switch to the on position. The variable haze flow control is turned clockwise to increase the output. The fan speed control can be increased by turning the control clockwise as well. The fan only speeds up during the haze output. The interval control is used to provide cycled haze output. It must be set fully counterclockwise when not in use. The radiance will produce 10 seconds of output at the requested flow space by a 1 to 300 seconds interval. Often imitated but never duplicated, Ultratech's award-winning Radiance Haze Machine, coupled only with our Luminous 7 water-based haze fluid, takes your laser and our late show to the next level. The evenly distributed, long-lasting haze creates a spectacular atmospheric effect. Ultratech Special Effects is always committed to innovation, manufacturing new and improved products to meet the demands of the ever-evolving market. For more information, go to ultratechfx.com.